Welcome, my name is Analia Pisani, and today I'm going to show you about playing with flags. Most of the time people play with flags, they only think of the option of uh, setting it to today, tomorrow, this week, next week. However, the tomorrow, this week and next week, they're very similarly coloured. So unless they were next to each other, you really couldn't tell them apart. I don't use that one. I use custom. Now, in order to play with custom, there's a few things we need to do. We need to change our view and we need to add a field header for follow up flag. So we're going to start with that. We're going to go to view, change view, and we're going to select our single view. Once we have our single view, we get our headings along the top. You may find that there are headings up there that you don't want, such as the size. We don't need to know the size of our files. So when we want to remove this, we select size, drag it down towards the rest of your emails. And what we now need to add is the custom. So under field chooser, so I'm right mouse clicking on any header after I've changed the view to, and then select field chooser, follow up flag, and we'll stretch that out a little bit. While we're here, we'll also add the due date. Okay, so let's have a look at setting up a custom flag. So if we right mouse click on the flag selection, we can select custom. Most people, once they see this dialog box, they think this is a place where I have to select only what I have here. We're going to add a comment. Instead of choosing from the items from the list, we can put in anything we like in here. So sometimes I'm waiting on information. So I might say waiting on confirmation. You can choose a start date or a due date. So I might say I'm waiting for this confirmation. I'll set up a reminder for myself. It's going to be due on Friday, but I'm going to remind myself perhaps a day before or maybe a couple more days before, sometime in the morning. Now, the place where you're going to see this comment is up the top here in the embedded in the message. And that's why I add the view single and add the follow-up flag and due date so that we can see the commentary in here. So there's no need to open the email or select the email before reading the comment that's available here. You could always select the little flag option and have all your flags up together. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe. And I also provide Microsoft Office training courses in Sydney, Australia. Feel free to contact me at azsolutions.com.au. See you next time.